Hello, Lex and Richard. How you doing, guys? Um, okay, I just figured it might be a little easier this time just to go over some of the last round of changes um, in this screencast. Uh, first of all, thanks for being patient, guys. It was a really rough week and a half for me. Um, as I mentioned, I lost a, one of my best friends, 33 years old. But anyhow, back in the groove, just trying to keep my mind off of things and uh, keeping the flow going. But uh, all right, so yeah, all the changes that Lex had suggested were made um, all but one that um, we could still do I just wanted to clarify and make sure you guys want to do that so first things first um, the parallax was removed so if we scroll start to scroll down you'll see um, these still animate we still have a sticky menu but what I'm thinking you guys are meaning by the parallax is the layered you know layered images like before these these panels let's call them rows of parallax they were moving on different planes. Like in other words, the text would overlay and as you guys mentioned, it might be a little distracting. So now they're all static background images. So one, two, three, they're static. So I'm just gonna flip on um, the non-static real quick so you can see what I mean. Um, so I'll just set those to scroll. Give me a second. Scroll, save, and I'm just gonna do the intro block, set the scroll, all right. See, now let's go back and refresh and I'll show you how it, what, what the difference is. So see how these background images are static. They're not moving on different layers, less confusing. So let me refresh now. And now you will see, you see how these background images move on different layers. See like, so this is on a different plane. It sort of adds that depth in 3D. I thought, personally, I thought it was a nice effect, but I see you guys' point that it might be distracting. Um, so now, yeah, the text, see how this text is moving on top on a different layer. So I deactivated that. So I'm hoping or I'm thinking that's what you guys meant by removing the parallax, all right? So I'll put those back in a second, but for the purpose of this video, I'll just keep it on. All right, um, we, I put much less space here and here. So now there's, you know, this is much more above the fold. I mean, as you can see, I have my screen set way above the fold. And, um, you know, this is the video. Everything's before you have to scroll down. It's all there. So, um, yeah, that's all there. And then the other thing, uh, so the other revision that Lex had suggested. Let me just go back to his video here. Um, to have these as a mouse over experience with a message. So let me just hit play. What you'll okay. learn. And then with those three areas, instead of just <laughs> so saying what they do, the, uh, if they could be engaging like this. So there's a short overview. So, okay. So going back to this point, we could certainly do that, but I just want to make something clear and it might make you guys second, you know, have second thoughts on that. So the entire mouse over experience is completely dead on iPads, iPhones, any mobile device, any iPad device, which is, you know, more than half of people are using now. Well, it's up, it's 35 to 50% 50, 50%, depending on the medium. Um, I would think your site would probably be visited mostly on desktop. <laughs> Sorry, that's my dog morning in the background. Um, so yeah, we could, we could do this, but you'll just have to remember that on a phone or an iPad, there is no mouse over experience. It's simply a click or not click. So you can't just hover over something on those devices because your finger just clicks or not clicks. So if we're going to rely on the total functionality of having some sort of short message, then it's not going to, it's not going to happen on iPhone or iPad. So that's why um, in the last few years, I've been sort of staying away from that stuff. I love this kind of stuff. It's, you know, it adds playfulness. That's why you know, parallax is sort of a new way to introduce sort of little more interaction and depth and, you know, um, you know, just sort of bells and whistles. So that's why I had the parallax in there. So yeah, if we do this, all I would need for you guys to do, you know, I'm not the greatest copywriter. I could take a crack at it if you want, but I would just need you to send me short copy blocks for each of the three feature blocks that we have right now. I just have sort of like a title there. Um, but just again, um, you guys might want to reconsider that because then if we're relying on the hover experience with a message, then it'll be dead on iPhone, iPad. So maybe we just want to have a longer message that's static without mousing over. Um, and again, if you guys want it, then it'll just simply be, you know, it'll function the way you want on desktop or laptop and not the other devices, mobile, iPad. So maybe we do a happy medium, we meet in the middle. Um, and just do maybe like a longer message it's static um, that leads you in you know now I put the what you learn in there what you'll learn so let me know guys I could do it but just keep in mind that um, you know if we rely on that functionality then it won't happen on those devices that's pretty much it the rest of the changes are made Lex I moved these this stuff about 
30 pixels away from the top. I, think, I know you wanted that before. It was more like around there. It was tight. Sort of suffocated. So I saw your point there. I moved, I moved these two messages down. All right. And, um, yeah, just some of the things now that I'm in here that I could show you that I added to that um, are nice. I put this back to top button. So this will kind of rocket you to the top. So you click on it and it rockets you to the top. So that's what that was if you were wondering. Um, and that's pretty much it so let me know what you guys want to do if you still want to do this mouse over experience then just I would just need to know what what text you want to put there and uh, we'll make it happen all right so after I made the point about the mobile and that guy let me know if you guys still want to do that and we'll go ahead and do it all right that's pretty much it um, I'm working on doing these four pages today I'm gonna we have to kind of start somewhere so um, I know this section is going to have the form, so I just have to figure out what I'm going to put here on those pages. Maybe we just have the form here and the copy here, and then maybe we, I don't know, maybe these three featured boxes, since they're important pages, could be on every page as well. Um, we lose this on the sub pages, or I call the, I call any inner page a sub page. So this is the home page, so I'll be doing these four sub pages. So I'm thinking if the form remains, maybe we just do the form and then the copy or the content that's on those pages goes here. If it's not going to work, then maybe I'll just center the form somehow and put it underneath. I'll have to just sort of get in there and see what's going to work, and then we could all evaluate it. All right. Um, so yeah, I know we've been getting hung, hung, hung up on the home page, uh, but everything is sort of contingent, you know, as far as the spacing and the form and all that. So once we lock down this, then everything else should sort of start to move and uh, all flow into the sub or inner pages. All right. So I'm going to post this video up um, for you guys to review and let me know you know what you want to do about these mouse overs and um, I'll start working on these four pages in the meantime so we can just start to think about how we're going to do those. Alright guys, all the best.